I've been feeling more awesome than ever lately. I always feel awesome, but recently I've like really been creating the way I feel. Welcome to my YouTube channel and to my mess. It is true. This is where I've been working all day. If you can only see how many water bottles, it'd be more of a mess. So I'm 24 and I noticed about a month ago that I was lacking confidence in money. Now confidence isn't just about yourself, right? It's about every part of your life. And I've never felt insecure about money. And even a month ago, I wasn't insecure about money on the surface. But I had this moment where I was like, I think I'm pretty insecure about how much money I can make. And it was crazy to admit that to myself because I had never felt that way before. And it was a subconscious belief that had been built up because I had started so many companies and tried so many things, many of which didn't succeed, many of which failed. <laughs> so anyways, a month ago, I had this realization and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm insecure. And it didn't make me freak out. It didn't make me upset. It just made me like, oh, what can I do to increase my confidence and to make sure I don't feel that way? Because confidence is a skill. Confidence isn't a, confidence is a journey. So if I feel insecure about my ability to make money, that's just part of my journey that I can change right now. And so I started journaling every morning and night, every morning and night, okay? As if I was already confident as crap, okay? I'm talking, oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I just made a million dollars today. Just crazy stuff, but I believed it. I believe it. But whatever you're feeling insecure with in your life, you should do this. So if you're feeling insecure about your body, you write on your in your journal, I've never felt so good about my body. It feels so good to have forgiven myself. I feel incredible in my own skin. And I'm telling you guys, the confidence, I'm like bleeding confidence about my money, about my ability to make money. What chicken head? What do you want? I'll tell you to my dog. No exaggeration. My sister screams at me every day to shut up. <laughs> and I don't. Anyway, so I have manifested. I have a call in two days with a multimillionaire who's in his 20s. I met up two weeks ago with this old guy who I hadn't talked to him in a year. He's making money, living in a high rise, like totally where I want to be. And I have this huge opportunity, which I'll tell you guys about later. But it's just crazy how it's up to us. It's all in our power. And while I speak this, it just reminds me to really be aware that everything I'm saying is also the same situation with my food. Where I'm struggling with the most in my life is my food. Where I've struggled the most of my life for the past decade, from 14 to 24, is food. So I'm realizing that everything I've applied with money is the same with food. My insecurity with food isn't a destination. It's just part of the journey and I can change it. I can right now speak on, it feels so good to have such a healthy relationship with food. It feels so good to trust myself. It feels so good to wake up every day and not stress about food anymore, like I did for the past decade of my life. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> that already got me hyped. <gasps> I'm what bless poo. What do you want, chicken head? <laughs> that already got me hyped. Because I'm already, I felt that. When I spoke that, I felt that. And when I felt that, I became that. That five seconds just there where I spoke as if I have no problems with food, I didn't. In those five moments, I was every part of who I want to be with food. And so it's so amazing. Okay, bless you, poo. Say bye to your friends because you're annoying me, poo poo pie. Say goodbye to your friends. <laughs> She's so 
cute. She's my sister. Bye, babes. Anyway, so it's just so incredible how we can literally be who we want right now. Oh my gosh, like I literally just made a million dollars to speak for 20 minutes. Now, I just want to preface, if you think that's not possible, it is, just so you know. This is me talking in reality, okay? If you're like, oh my gosh, that's way too much. You do where you want to be. Everyone has different goals in life. Is this a freaking mosquito? Because heck no. You talk the way you want to be in life. I have a lot of friends, they want to raise kids in life. That's all they want. I personally want to be a billionaire. I'm not even gonna lie and say a multimillionaire because I don't wanna lie to you guys. If there's hundreds of billionaires in the world, which there are, why couldn't I be one too? I am worthy of that. Sorry if you think I'm crazy, I'm not. If I was crazy, there would be zero. And I still wouldn't be that crazy because there's been people who have ran, I'm scared of this mosquito. Do not attack me, please. Don't hurt me. I don't want to be hurt. I already know it's trying to try to attack me. I have such juicy blood too. But anyways, let me keep going so you guys can see. Now what I'm doing right now is I'm tapping in to who I want to be and how it feels what my everyday is like, how I hold myself. Guys, I swear, the way I just sat up right there. Let me move this up a little bit now that I'm sitting up. The way I just sat up right there was my mind. My mind sat me up. <laughs> I'm serious. I had the thought of like how I felt and I wasn't feeling, I felt so energized imagining myself being that person, just imagining myself I'm literally becoming that person. If I wasn't, I would have stayed here. I naturally sat up. Let me keep going. Do it with me. Close your eyes and imagine you in six months. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay, six months. Six months down the road. Dream world. Close your eyes with me and let's imagine where we are. This might take me a second. I gotta really get into it, okay? Get into it with me. Pause it if you need to so you don't feel rushed because I feel a little rushed, so pause it. I'll chop some out so I don't feel rushed. <laughs> okay, okay, done, go. I'll keep that last breath in for you so you can see how energized I was. Okay, I'm gonna pretend like I'm on the phone with my friend. No. I'm just gonna be me six months from now. I'm gonna pretend like I'm on a YouTube video, okay? I like to like put myself in a situation. I'm gonna put myself in a situation now where I'm talking to you guys, it's six months from now. I have never felt better about myself. I am killing, in a great way, every part of my life. And it feels so good to know that it's because I, me, I put in that work. Every day I believed in myself. Every day I journaled like I am who I want to be. Well, I am who I was meant to be, which is me right now. And I feel so empowered because every single day I feel so much freedom to just take another step closer to the person I want to be because I realize now how much it's in my hands. I struggled with food for a decade and now I don't struggle at all because every day I just put in that work in my mind. For so long I was stressed about food and I didn't put that energy into my mind and as soon as I started doing it with my finances, I realized it was possible with every aspect of my life and now I am living the life of my dreams. <sighs> Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> okay, I'm done. But you guys see how energizing it is? Now, 
I want to preface, if you don't feel this crazy amount of energy that I do, it's because I've been doing this for a month. So I'm already like prepped up. Most of my focus for the past month has been with reinstilling my confidence with money, but it is with every aspect of my life. And I realized today now that I've been putting this work in to strengthen my relationship with money. And now that it's real, like I feel abundance, an abundance of money. I feel like I am worthy of all the money in the world. I realize that I need to be using this practice for every aspect of my life because I can do anything. I set my mind to. If I put in the work every day. Now, if I don't put in the work, I'm not going to become confident in every area of my life. But if I put in the work, I will reach the stars, the moon, the planets that only Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos know exist. <laughs> there is so much energy and potential inside you. And if you are lacking confidence, just know a freaking month ago, I thought I couldn't make money deep down. And so I think step one is really just getting real with yourself about your insecurities. And honestly, am I going to lie? One of mine right now is my body. Like not in a way where I'm going to let my life stop or I hate it, but I'm insecure about the way I eat I I have no wait no no no. I have insecurity that I am worthy of eating healthy I have insecurity that I am worthy of a healthy fit body that I take care of every day without stress I have insecurity that I don't know how to eat normal I have insecurity that I can't be normal around food and therefore can't ever lose weight. I have insecurity that I can't ever lose weight. Now, some of you are going to say, oh my gosh, you're beautiful the way you are. Okay, listen, I'm not, if, I'm not happy though because do you know what it's like to be stressed about food every single day? I have insecurity that I will always be stressed about food every day. So it's not necessarily like I'm insecure about food. It's my insecurities, and I hope this helps you pinpoint yours, is that I'll never figure it out with food. And another insecurity is that, yeah, my inse- my insecurity, my fear is that I'll never be free. But that is a lie. Oh, that is such a lie, little angel. You for sure will be. <laughs> I love myself so much. Do you ever do that? Is that really weird? Should I cut that out? I'm going to keep it in. Sorry. That's literally what I do. When I'm extra loving myself, I'm literally like, I let so much into <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so once you identify the fear, the next step that I have done is to start journaling, writing down exactly how you feel in this new version of you. Writing it down really, really changed things for me. Especially every night and morning. I mean, that's 40 minutes a day. It takes like 20 minutes to write two pages in a journal, I feel like. You really become that person for 40 minutes a day. And I mean, if you think about it, that's like one twelfth of the day. It's like 10% of the day, you're already becoming who you wanna be. And then, you know, now that I'm a month in, it's like my whole mindset is that. And so I just feel so excited and empowered because I realize that my insecurity is just, it's just, it's, it's not real because it's, I can overcome it. It's only real if I can't change it. My arms are real. They're not going anywhere. My insecurities aren't real. And my confidence is up to me and I believe in this technique and I know it works because I just did it with my money so anyways let me know if this works for you 
Let me know if this inspires you and helps you to find confidence in whatever aspect of life you feel insecure about. So maybe comment below what your insecurity is and who the person of you is going to be. And if you're like, mm, like I'm not going to write a journal entry, write it in the comments. Tell us the person you are going to be, okay? I just told you I'm going to be a billionaire with a B, billionaire. I mean, if I can tell you that, you can fearlessly tell me who you're going to be because you can be anything you want to be. And if you think you can't be anything, it's just insecurity. It's a fear that you can't be that. If you want to be a doctor and you're like, I want to be like, identify the fear. If you want to feel, if you want to work out five days a week, but you don't think you can't, insecurity. You have a fear that you can't work out five days a week. It's just a fear. It's just an insecurity. We can do anything. We have to start from the inside though. I think when I think about my struggle with food, I feel like I put so much energy to the plan, the food, a new thing that would work. Even being more mindful, which I do think is the answer with my relationship with food is being more mindful. But being mindful is also journaling and you have to find what works for you. And for me, journaling has helped me tap into this power. Oh, I just freaking itched my foot. You know why? The mosquito fucking got me. The mosquito got me. <laughs> that fucking bitch. <gasps> no. on my foot too oh my gosh they're everywhere he ate me up <laughs> well like comment and subscribe i hope this helped we are going to become everything we want to be together okay i love you so much this energy isn't my natural energy it is my energy from a month of manifesting and putting energy into what I know I'm capable of. And that has created this powerful energy inside me of who I really am. This is who I am. You know what energy is? Energy is life. Okay. And how did I get all this energy? By hyping myself up, by being the person I already want to be, by just saying I was. We can be anything. We are anything. We can do anything. Love you. Bye.